Osmosis in Vegetables by kscience.com. So what I'm doing here now is adding solute, so sugar or salt to the beaker. So in this case, it's 15% sugar concentration that the potato is in. Rule one is use the solute concentration to work out the water concentration. So in the potato, it's 30% sugar, so the water concentration is 70% water. And in the beaker, it's 15% sugar, so that means it's going to be 85% water. Number two, you now draw a H where the water concentration is high. So 85% is higher than 70. So now we know that there's the higher concentration is in the sugar solution in the beaker than the water that is inside the potato. So we draw a H. Number three is we draw a L where the water concentration is lower. So that's in there. Number four, you draw an arrow from the H to the L. Number five, you then define osmosis. Number six, you then need to describe the change in appearance of the potato due to osmosis. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. So in this situation here, we've got potato that is sat in a beaker of pure water, aka distilled water. This means it's completely pure and there is no solute in it. So inside the potato, I'm going to give this solute concentration as 30% sugar, 30% sugar. So now step number one from our rules is calculate the water concentration. So in the beaker, it's 100% because it's pure distilled water. Inside the potato, we're going to work out the water concentration there. So the water concentration in the potato is going to be 70%. Now you write a H next to where there's a high concentration and an L where there is a lower water concentration and you draw the arrow to show water movement. Now we're going to show the change in appearance. So water's going to osmose into the potato. So the water is going to cause the potato to gain mass and appear larger. And what's really important now is you have to define osmosis, which is the movement of water from a high to low concentration through a partially permeable membrane. In this situation, water has gone in and the potato has gained mass. So osmosis has caused the potato to gain mass. So in this example, we're going to add sugar to the beaker of water. So sugar, what that's going to do is it reduces the water concentration. So sugar reduces the water concentration. So we're going to keep the potato sugar concentration the same at 30%. And this time we're going to give the beaker a 40% sugar concentration. A 40% sugar concentration. So remember, rule number one, you use the sugar concentration to calculate the water concentration. So in the potato, it's 70% water. And in the beaker it is 60% water that is step number one step number two is you write high and then you're going to show the water moving from a high to low concentration by the process of osmosis and now the water is going to leave the potato by osmosis for a partially permeable membrane from a high to low concentration so now you define osmosis and then what you're going to do is you describe the appearance change in the vegetable in this case because water is leaving it it's going to appear thinner and it's going to have lost mass. So therefore, it's going to have lost mass and appear thinner. So the potato, due to osmosis, will lose mass. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer this extended response question. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.